Welcome to my channel. I'm Cohen Springer. I create videos to help Caribbean students. Algebra for CSEC is a huge topic. It's a foundational topic. If you want to check out all the topics in algebra, you can check out this link. And I've done a lot of wonderful stuff on algebra before. But today we're just going to look at simplifying algebra fractions. This comes 50% of the time. So simplifying algebra fractions didn't show up in January or May 2018. But it was there for 2017 January and May. For May 2017, we had 5p over 3 take away 3p minus 1 over 4. The trick with algebraic fractions is looking at the denominator and finding the LCM. What is the LCM of 3 and 4? The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So I would advise you to draw a big line like this and come and find the LCM of 3 and 4, put 12. And then this is the fun part, 3 into 12, 4. So in the beginning, you'd want to write the 4 outside like that. So just so, we, so just so we are clear, we divided the 12 by the 3 and we got 4. So I, I have to multiply this numerator by 4. Essentially what we are doing is making this fraction into a new fraction here that matches up. It's, it's, it's a multiple of this fraction, right? But anyhow, so 3 into 12, 4. So we bring the 4 here and we're going to multiply the numerator of this fraction by 4. So, so it's obvious now, 4 into 12 will be 3. So I'm going to come 3 by 3p minus 1. Now there are two common mistakes in this. There are two big mistakes that people make in this. One, when multiplying or using the distributive law, you know, across the brackets, they mess up the signs. There's, there's usually a negative sign here waiting just for people to make that mistake in this paper. Second mistake is that they always think the LCM is going to be the mul multiply these denominators by each other. 3 by 4 is 12. What about if it was 6 and 4? The LCM of 6 and 4 is still 12, not 24. Now if you get 24, you can still get the correct answer, but there'll be some cancelling to do and most people forget to do the cancelling if they don't know how to get the LCM. Anyhow, so your best bet is to find the LCM one time. Make sure you know how to find LCM. So what comes next is that we're going to multiply 4 by 5p, we'll get 20p. 4 by 2 is 8. Negative 3 by 3p is negative 9p. And negative 3 by negative 1 is plus 3. And you're going to just keep that over the 12. Most students should be able to decode what comes next. We'll group up the terms that have P in it. And, the group, and then group up the terms that are just numbers and simplify. So it, this will turn out to be 20P take away 9P. So we're taking our time and making sure we don't skip any steps. The P's are together, the numbers are now together. 20P take away 9P is 11P. 8 plus 3 is also 11 over 12. So, hmm. 20P take away 9P is 11P. And 8 plus 3 is also 11 over 12. So a nice way to write this would be to come now and say 11 into P plus 1 over 12. Do you understand what happened there? 11 by this p will get back that and 11 by this one will get back that but i think you should get marks if you reach your full marks even let's look at two more this time i'll be going quicker so follow along january 2017 2x plus 3 over 3 plus x minus 4 over 4 just like the last one the lcm is going to be 12 so just like the last one we're going to have 4 by the numerator here and we're going to have 3 by the numerator here. This is going to give us 8x plus 12 plus 3x minus 12. Verify that this one is going to simplify to 11x over 12. Let's look at another one. Going backwards, the next simplification of algebraic fractions came in January 2016. And this was the question. So now we have two different denominators, 2 and 5. The LCM of that is going to be 10. So now we say 2 into 10, 5. 5 by x plus 1. 5 into 10, 2. 2 by the numerator. And now we simplify. 
5 by x, 5x, 5 by 1, 5, 2 by 5, 10, and 2 by negative x, negative 2x. Bring our x's together and our numbers together, we should get 3x plus 15 over 10. Here are three past paper questions you can try on your own to test your knowledge. 2015 January, simplify this. 2014 May, simplify this. 2012 May, solve. So this one is a little different, but I feel somebody out there can get the answer. When you get the answer, put it in the comments for the people. Press like and subscribe. We're going live this weekend. 93 more days till maths exam in January. You ready?